All right, just a little part to follow up on the accuracy of using Google Earth versus using the waypoint averaging function on a Garmin handheld device. So I went down to this base map on Google Earth Pro and I set a few waypoints for the, uh, the entrance pylons at the cemetery. I put the handheld device right on the top and it took a minute or so for each measurement so I think I got a good average waypoint measurement on these two pylons here and I did a similar one on one of the pylons up here on the other end of the cemetery and now uh, so what I can do from these is you can Google Earth will tell you what exactly that that point is and then uh, I'm going to compare that to what I got on the Garmin so let me bring up Excel here all right so what I've got here is a few lines this is the south gate the north point of that south gate south pylon and the north gate east pylon and the main thing I'm looking for is comparing the Google Earth pin value that comes from the computer and then comparing it to what the waypoint average mark came out with the Garmin uh, 65s test that I did and you can tell there is 0 0.05 difference between the measurement on Google Earth and the measurement I got with the Garmin itself so that's a delta of five feet on the latitude similar thing on the longitude we had a difference of seven feet in that particular one now what i on the uh, same area the south gate post ended with a four foot delta between the map and the marker and less than two feet on the longitude on those two on the north gate uh, three foot delta between the pin on Google Earth and what I was able to get with the waypoint average marker and then again under two feet on the longitude so basically what this tells you is uh, how accurate Google Earth is if you put a pin down compared to what a real measurement will be and as I mentioned in part two, I think this waypoint average measurement is more accurate than using the imagery that's on Google Earth itself. So you're going to be, you know, anywhere from one and a half feet to four feet difference between uh, what you would measure and what you would get on Google Earth directly on the computer, assuming you're using the uh, Garmin. 65s and it may vary a little bit by location but i think this is reasonably good accuracy for for a handheld consumer grade gps device all right that's all i got on this one stay tuned for more parts